Now, so so you're what you claim in your book, what what is the reason for in your view, what is the reason for these owls showing up in connection with UFOs? Like what is the what is the connection between the owls and these tiny scientists in these UFO sh- saucers? They so they might not be tiny tiny scientists in the saucers. They might be doing some other role, but they're they're uh the connection. Okay. So there's a term archetype which means that somehow within our, like uh, uh, Plato originally used the archetype and then the term archetype and then Freud, excuse me, then Carl Jung mm-hmm. uh, used the term archetype uh, in more modern research. And they both are implying that there's a, um, a something in the human psyche, in the collective consciousness that we have an embedded knowing about certain things. Like, for instance, um, uh, uh, Luke Skywalker is the archetype of the hero, right? So you go to see Star Wars, you watch a movie with, uh, you know, Luke Skywalker flying mm-hmm. his, you know, f- his fighter spacecraft and with his lightsaber and everything like that. You're seeing a movie, an adventure movie, but underneath it all, you are, you are seeing the archetype of the, of the hero. Right. So, and we, we know that we can tap into that. And I would argue that we can tap into the archetype of the owl. Like I talk to a lot of people who see owls and they almost no one says, Oh, I saw an owl that people will come to you and say like, I saw this owl. It might did nothing at all. It might've been on a fence. And they said it was so powerful. Like it was so striking to see an owl up close. So along with that, um, well, culturally they're just, they're just tied with like spooky spookiness or, or and have horror been, yeah. or, and that goes right into the Bible. There's there's parts where owls are mentioned in the Bible, and it sounds just like if it was like a, a, a spooky movie. They they show up in places where they are like a set piece. When within the Bible, they're talking about like uh, the wasteland, the barren, the desert. You know, this uh, these lonely, spooky places. Mm-hmm. And they'll say there were owls there. So that's exactly right. That has been within our psyche for forever. So, but. If there is a deeper meaning, now I'm going way out on a limb with these ideas here, but if there's a deeper meaning within the owl that we can tap into subconsciously and they arrive at the moment of UFO contact. So here's, this is totally, what's normal is I get stories like this all the time. Walking through the woods, I looked up, I saw an owl. The next thing I knew, a flying saucer passes right over me. That's very common. So the owl, they're seeing a real owl and it is showing up in the context of uh, of a uh, of a UFO contact or a UFO sighting. Mm-hmm. So, is it a punctuation mark? Is it like an explanation? Is exclamation point within the narrative of the real of their reality? Does that make sense? Like, if the owl is showing up for some reason, if only so the so the person pays attention more. That is so. So you ask like why owls? The simplest thing I could say why owls is to pay attention. It's like a symbol to pay attention. Another thing I say, it's an alarm clock. Mm-hmm. It's like it's it's a ringing bell, like forcing you to pay attention, forcing you to wake up. So what what does that have to do with if it's a real owl versus, I mean, how could it not be a real owl? Okay, so so you so you were a little bit ago, you asked about the four foot tall owls. Right. So here's, this is, there's two avenues of, of this, of the owl sighting. One avenue is a real owl. And what is very commonly reported, and I get this a lot, is here I'll tell a little story. This guy at a UFO conference, uh, people in a group, they sit in a circle like a like an uh, Alcoholics Anonymous meeting, and they talk about like they talk about like I you know hello my name is Joe and I think I've been abducted by aliens. It's basically mm-hmm. the vibe of it. Ooh, I'll you take want some coffee. Bit. Yeah, just a little bit at the bottom. Okay. Of that. Great, it's strong. Uh, good, and uh, so perfect. And then so um, they you know, they tell their stories, they tell their experiences. And I was in this one, and this was at a UFO conference where there's a big, uh, like people go to UFO conferences and people who have had the contact experiences will show up at the conference and then they will often have a support group meeting at night. It's closed to uh, reporters and things like that. So there's a guy sitting off in the corner the whole time and he's kind of like this the whole time. And he, 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 at the end of the meeting, he kind of raises his hand. So listen, I have to ask people in the room, has anyone here 
ever had any odd experiences with owls? And this guy like almost fell out of his chair when everyone rose their hand, including me. And he was just like, so he told a story. So this is the story that shows up a lot. He's driving down the road at night and he's, he sees this big owl on the side of the road. It's like four foot tall. And he goes right up to it. He rolls his window down. He looks right at it. It's right next to his driver's side window. And he looks at this big four foot tall owl. And he gets a really bad feeling. And he drives home. Later, he's a photographer. Later, he goes into the woods. And you know that he knows there's an owl's nest in a tree. So he's taking pictures of this owls. And he's looking at the owls. And he says, I don't think that was an owl I saw on the side of the road. So he went through hypnotic regression to try to figure out what he actually saw. And he said that nothing really emerged in the hypnosis session except that he has a memory, a vague memory of the owl wearing boots. Okay, so there's no, nothing proof here. But what is, what is commonly reported is this tall, four-foot-tall owl. and Commonly reported? Commonly reported. What is that? Can you give me numbers? What is common? I, I wish I knew. So, so I don't, like owl, What percentage of your stories are four-foot-tall owls? 25%. Wow. Maybe 50%. Less than 50, more than 25. Somewhere in there. Okay. So, uh, so here's another story. So, so what the implication is that the gray alien is using some sort of psychic impression to, to distort the observer's mind. Use, I'm, this is so common in the literature. And so uh, there's a... Um, and I've heard it many times, listen to the hypnosis transcripts or the hypnosis recordings where uh, someone will say like, oh, I saw a four-foot owl on the road. And then the hypnotherapist says, describe the owl. Well, it's bald. It's got big black eyes. It's skinny. It's wearing a shiny uniform. It's got long fingers. And I don't think that's an owl. It's very commonly reported that at the end of a UFO contact experience, the beings, oftentimes the gray aliens, will kind of say you will remember us as owls now it's not just so this is in the in the literature this is called a screen memory so s there's a screen somehow that they use either technology or psychic means to distort what the what the witness is seeing now it's not just owls it's it's um mm. deer owls and deer are at the top of the list people see deer under odd circumstances um and then uh, then after that, it's cats, raccoons, squirrels, clowns is really commonly reported. Jesus gets reported every once in a while as far as showing up as a screen memory. So, so somehow they're, are they, are they like, how are they tapping into the mind of the observer? I cannot even begin to imagine if it's technology or psychic means. So here's another story that, um, that is on the screen memory aspect. There's a woman I know, I know her well. I trust her. She was working at a girls' school for kids. She was like 19 years old, a summer camp. And there was like buildings, and she walked from one building to the other, and she had to kind of walk through a trail. So she wasn't like deep in the woods or anything. She was just like between two buildings. And she could hear kids, the girls playing in the background. And she turns a corner, and there's a gray alien standing by the side of the trail. And she looks at the gray alien, and it looks at her, and she hears this like sort of echoing, reverberating voice in her head that says owl 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 and she watches this being turn into an owl like whoosh, morph into an owl turn around and run into the woods so i got a couple stories like that one with deer so i'm just saying i all i can do is report what what people tell me right so <clears throat> the but you hear you hear your 500th story of someone seeing a four foot tall owl on the side of the road while driving at night. Yeah, it's gonna drive you crazy, right? Yeah.